did your job on what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Now I have to top yesterday's video. That's what <laughs> makes it hard. You do a good video, and then you have a bad video. And when you have a bad video, it's easy to top that. But yesterday's video I really liked. I was surprised at how pretty it is around here. You know, when you're living in something, you don't appreciate what you see. But when I was watching the video, and if I paused it, a lot of the pictures that of the trees and the road and everything, that would make a really pretty puzzle. Or calendar. Or calendar. That's true, yes. Well, today... I have to say, I, I'm glad you forced me to go for a ride yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I never ask him to go for a ride. In fact, I say, where are you going? And it's like, oh, he's, he wants to take out the motorcycle. But that was the first time I said, go take a ride. <laughs> In all the years that we've had the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I've never Which has been as long as we've been married. Yeah, and you had a bike before we were married. Yep. I um, had a comment from, I don't remember who now. Oh, I think it might have been Rusty. Something about his parents didn't approve of a it motorcycle. Was it was Rusty. Yep. My parents didn't like a motorcycle either. In fact, when Jim came to get me one time, we were going to go to Letchworth State Park. And he wanted to take the bike. I had never been on a motorcycle before. And my father says, well, you know, you could take the car. <laughs> he kept trying to push the car. And then it was like, no, Jim really wants to take the bike, so we'll take the bike. Well, that was my first time ever on the on the motorcycle, and it was a really long ride. It was a long ride to Letchworth. I don't know how long it was, but it was a couple yeah, it's hours. It about an hour and a half. Well, it felt like forever, and it probably took a little longer <laughs> than an hour and a half because I'm sure you didn't go the speed that you would have normally went. And the next day at work, I had to have a muscle relaxant because my stomach was so in knots. It's like when I rode, rode the quarter horses. I rode the quarter horse, really excited to be on it, happy to be on it, you know, thought it was great. But the next day I couldn't straighten up, so they ended up having to give me a muscle relaxant that day. Good thing I worked in a nursing home that you could get this stuff. <laughs> oh. And it wasn't uh, counted wasn't uh, uh, narcotic, let's see, mm -hmm. because the narcotics they had to count. Well, I walked, uh, that was um, that was out of the blue. <laughs> I had no intent on, and when we got married, I can go on to that, I'll just go on to that, because I did watch some videos today that I might mention, then again I might not, I don't know. <laughs> you have to stick around to see. Um, when we first got married, well, he had a bike. I don't know what bike you had. What bike did you have when we got married? It was a littler one. Um, Quickly. I don't, uh, <laughs> don't It was a little bike. I think I had the Yamaha at that point, the RD350. And it wasn't very big. No. And we went to Letchworth on that. It was horrible. No, actually, we borrowed, oh, I borrowed, borrowed my brother's, brother's bike. It was a little bigger. Which was a Suzuki GS550. But it still was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> For you. They had terrible seats in the back, I think. But lucky it had a sissy bar. And when I when I read, would ride on the back, I would hang on for dear life. Then we had, he, he tra traded that bike in because when we got married, um... I did spend a little bit of my money on him, <laughs> but it was yep. for he traded he traded that bike in. So in 1980, we got another bike. What did got we get? A, I got I got my own GS 550 okay. Suzuki, and we had that for um, for 10 years. Then we got another bike, and what was that one? Yamaha Virago 535, <laughs> and we had that one for 10 years. <laughs> And I said, this is your last bike. Was that the last bike? Mm, no. Almost. almost. That's when I got the, Ka the, the Kawasaki, Kawasaki Vulcan and Knight. I rode, I rode the, I hadn't been on the bike. You know, that was a deal we had when I, when we got married. I says, you can have a bike, but you don't pressure me to ride. You don't say, you want to go for a ride or anything. You can ask me, but I can, I can say no, and no is okay. 
and not say, well, come on, you know, no well, pressure. I did not want to ride the bike. I had enough enough riding that bike that first time I ever rode a bike. The but kids then, all loved I know it, for me to take But I out. didn't. And so when he was going to get rid of the one bike, the... The Yamaha. The ya um, no, the Suzuki. No, the Yamaha Virago. Virago, when he was going to Did you ever have a Suzuki? Yeah. Long, the the first back. one when we got married. Okay. Well, the Virago, when he was going to get rid of that, he said, do you want to ride it? And I thought, well, this would be the last time I ever have to ride it. Because he was going in to trade it in. And so when we get to the dealer, I'm thinking, oh, good Lord, i got to ride back. It was a long ways to Hector's, which was in mm. Faulkner? James Jamestown. Jamestown. It's, it's only 35 Oh, miles. it was a long <laughs> ride when you're hanging on for dear life. When you got off, you had to peel your fingers open. And then when, he, when I got on the Kawasaki, Kawasaki, it had a nice seat. It had a seat like this, and I actually found myself fixing my helmet. And I thought, oh, I let go. I can't believe I let go. And so that bike was better. And then we were going to take a bike trip. I thought, oh, this is kind of nice. Maybe I can ride on the back of his bikes. And that one had a sissy bar, too. I have to have it. No, it didn't have a sissy bar. It, yeah, had a, it, it, it? It, initially, it had a sissy bar. Then I put the travel box with the, the wraparound oh, so, right, wrap backrest yeah. for yeah, you. It was really nice. It was nice. And we were going to take a bike trip, and then he got vertigo. It's like, oh, ho, 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 ho. we cannot go on a bike trip with vertigo. So now we buy another bike. Oh, mm -hmm. no. This one is our most expensive bike, and he got a gold wing trike because uh, this way, if he were to have an attack of vertigo, he was not going to fall over. Well, before this, before we got that, or before we got that bike, eight years ago, I think it was, I don't remember. Ten years. Ten year, no. Ten years ago, you got the bike, so it was mm. after you had the bike. About eight years ago, I decided, I'm going to get my motorcycle license. Out of the blue. Mm -hmm. So I went, after work, I went down to motor vehicles, and I took the test the written test to get my permit for a motorcycle license. And I came home and I said, guess what I just did? He was shocked because... Very shocked. Because I didn't ride a bike. I didn't like being on the bike at all. But I got my own um, permit to, to drive a motorcycle. And my son had bought a Shadow something. Um, shadow. No, it's a... What is it? It's a pretty blue bike. <laughs> Well, he, yeah, his, he got a V-Star. Um, he had a Honda Rebel. Yeah, that I have. I know he and had the Rebel, that. but that was mine. But he, he got a uh, Yamaha V-Star. His is really pretty. It was a pretty bike. And I, and I bought the Rebel from him because I figured, well, you know, I should buy it. Even though he wanted to just give it to me. But I said, no, I'll buy it. So I had that one. And... So I signed up for the motorcycle class. That ride they, with pride. Ride with pride. Class. <clears throat> and when I was going to take that, everybody who else, was saying, who else signed oh, Jessica up signed up too. She <laughs> and I both took it. And we did really good on the written test. In fact, Jessica was done with the test first. It was like, whoa, that was fast. I was more towards the end getting done with the test. I'm slower at taking written tests. But anyways, I got a really good grade on it. Really good. I did. I only think I only missed one question. I don't think she missed any. She got a hundred. Anyways, um, they were saying everybody passes this course. Everybody. So no worries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they call you, and they take you in an area, and you come out with a certificate. You know, you passed. They call you in. You come out with no certificate. <laughs> you failed. Well, guess what? I failed. I failed the first test. And I said, so when people say they pass everybody, no, they don't. So they said, well, you can take the test again because it costs a fair amount of money to take this course. And they give you two tries, just like you would if you took a road test with your, with the police officer and in the road testing area. 
So you could take it again. And they said, you could take it again, call the office, and we will set you back up. Well, I took this test on a Thursday. Thursday. And they said, well, come back on Sunday, and you can take the test. What? Sunday? <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to really think about it. I, so I had Jim drive the bike to the church parking lot. I drove the car. I didn't want to drive the bike. Um, and so I got to the church parking lot, and I did my figure eights, and I did my stopping, and I did my whatever, everything that they had me do in the test I was doing in the parking lot. And I says, okay, I'm, I'm ready. So when I went to take the test the second time, it was different instructors. And um, they had you do the figure eight. And if you put your foot down, you lost a point. But if you drop your bike, it's automatic failure. So I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to drop my bike. I will put a foot down if I have to. So I put a foot down, and I lost a point. And then you had to go over a board, and you had to do a figure. Well, you had to do um, circles. circles. Yeah, you had to do other stuff. And then you had to go 35 miles an hour or 30 miles. I don't know. It was quite, quite fast. And you had to stop without locking the brakes. And when I did it, the guy goes, wow. He had never seen anybody stop a bike that fast and not lock up the brakes. I was determined I was not going to fail. So then they said, well, do we want to go back behind and you come out with your certificate or what? And I said, no, because if you go back there and you don't have a certificate, they know you didn't pass. And the guy kind of chuckles because I had failed the first test. And so we had all passed in this. And the funny part is this group that I took the test with was more on my level. The group that I had taken the test with the first time, they were all people that had been driving for, oh gosh, 8, 10, 12, 15 years. But the police were starting to crack down on people. And if you didn't have a license, they were getting fined and ticketed. So these guys decided they better get a license. And so that's what they were. They were experienced riders. And I was, I had never been on a bike to drive, really, until I think the day before I mm. finally took Michael's bike out. And I went out the driveway, and I was going to turn, and I hit gravel. I must have turned too quick or something. And I dumped the bike, and the bike was on me, and they come running down the driveway to get the bike off of me. So... I had a bad experience when I first started driving. So when I finally got my license, the 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 one girl that was in the that was a te that was the instructor, instructor, the first group. She I don't think she liked me cuz she was I was too much of a girl. She was not a girl. She was more of a boy. And I wasn't pretty enough apparently or young enough or something. I don't know what it was. But you could tell she didn't like me and she didn't like Jessica. But she liked this other lady. She told her, told us we were not bikers. We were just motorcyclists. <laughs> it was supposed to be a, a knockdown. Yeah. So when I got home, I decided that I really, oh, I like riding, but I don't like riding. I'm glad I've got my license. And the reason I got my license, so if Jim has a vertigo attack, I can drive the gold wing. I can drive a two-wheel bike because I took a test on a two-wheel bike. Now, if you take a test on a three-wheel, then three-wheel is all you are allowed to At drive. At least in New York State. In New York State. Yeah, I don't know what it is in the other states. But if you take it on a two-wheel, you can drive either yeah, or. So I took it on a two-wheel so I could drive the Goldwing. So should he have an attack, I would. he could lay over, I could hit the kill switch, and I can drive the bike off the road, and we're not going to flop over. If we were on a two-wheel, forget it. We're goners. Plus, the bike is so big, I, my feet wouldn't even touch the ground. I'm only five feet. And so it's really, really, really what you guys find easy. It's not easy for me because I'm just not big enough for some things. I wish, they, yeah, I wish they made the seats even lower because I see everybody step over their bike and it's like they've got like this much room between their, their bottoms and the seat when they're standing. And I'm like... Standing, I'm on it. I can't even stand and on up. My tiptoes. And on my tiptoes. I remember when we had to walk the bike before you turn the engine on to the other side of the parking lot that we were in, or this area that we were taking the test. And I apparently wasn't going fast enough. So the, that girl that didn't really like me came up behind me and gave me a shove. And it was fine because 
I needed a little help apparently, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the extra two inches that everybody else had or more to walk that bike. I was just, I was on my tiptoes walking that bike. So that's what I did. So there you've got my bike mm -hmm. story. So for eight years I've had a well, what, license. What did we do when we got your, your white motorcycle? Oh yeah, I have two motorcycles, people. So <laughs> anybody want my black one, you can buy it. Um, very, very low mileage. Yeah, it was. I liked this white bike, and, and it's so funny because it's the same size as mine. It's a 250 Honda. But I liked the white bike, so Jim bought me the white bike. And then he put me my uh, hard storage thing in the back, luggage yep. container. Uh, travel box and, and hard saddlebags. Hard saddlebags, and he put me the extra wheels on. So when I go down the road, I get a lot of looks. Because it is cute, but when I've only had to fill the gas tank once, and my son, thank goodness, he was coming home from work and he saw me, and I had pulled off to the side because I didn't know how to set it into the reserve even. <laughs> and he pushed it on reserve and brought me to the gas station, and then he filled the bike for me, so that was good. And then I went to work, and um, that was, I guess, that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. where I'm going with this story. But that's what I did. And then I watched a bunch of videos today. I did watch some people. I um, was going to name them, but then I have to put them in the extra thing. So I guess I won't be telling the names of these people that I watched. But I did watch a lot of videos, and I've enjoyed seeing what I saw. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the motorcycle talk. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.